Welcome back to BT Watch, where we bring you the latest news and insights into the world of exceptional timepieces. Today, we'll be discussing men's watches and our top recommendations for the best five watches to buy in 2024. These watches showcase the perfect combination of style, innovation, and craftsmanship, and cater to both seasoned collectors and first time buyers. Join us as we delve into the features, designs, and stories behind each of these extraordinary watches and find out which one will adorn your wrist in 2024. BT Watch is your ultimate guide to elevating your watch game. If a brand names one of its products, Legend, you'd better hope said product can back up that lofty moniker. And for the past 16 years, that has been the case for the Longin Legend Diver. Debuting in 2007 as a modernized version of the Super Compressor Dive watches the brand produced from the late 1950 through the early 70s. The Legend Diver has arguably been Longin flagship offering for the past decade and a half. But as beloved as the vintage style diver was, the Legend Diver still had its foibles. Enthusiasts complained about the lack of a true bracelet option, the two large 42 mm and two small 36 mm case sizes the practically non-existent loom, and the near impossibility of tracking down a rare no-date reference. Well, today Longin has launched a brand new generation of the Legend Diver that, at least on paper, would appear to address everyone's issues with the prior version. Longin has clearly been listening to its customers. The completely revamped Legend Diver has a more versatile case size at 39mm, far better loom, a COSC certified movement, a more modern design and a true stainless steel bracelet option for the first time, fitted end links and safety clasp included. The dial even eschews the date, something fans of the watch have been clamoring for. Overall, I love the new Legend Diver and think it will be a massive hit for Longin. I won't see the Legend losing its status as Longin de facto flagship anytime soon. I think it's still the best retro dive watch on the market for the money. Grand Seiko's esteemed choice among watch enthusiasts globally, the SBGA211 Snowflake, earns its moniker from its intricately adorned dial, reminiscent of freshly fallen snow. Its exceptional accuracy owes to the smooth, sweeping spring drive movement, seamlessly blending the essence of a mechanical watch with quartz precision. While the Snowflake is renowned for its style, its high-intensity titanium case merits attention as well. Measuring 41 by 49 by 12.5 millimeters, it leans toward the larger side, especially for a time-only everyday sports watch. Yet, its cleverly crafted geometry, a hallmark of both Grand Seiko and Seiko, allows it to appear smaller and slimmer, defying expectations. Furthermore, being crafted from titanium renders it 30% lighter than its steel counterpart would have been. Despite its initial appearance of simplicity, the case reveals its intricacies upon closer examination. Long, robust lugs flow seamlessly, enveloping a polished bezel. Positioned slightly recessed at three when screwed in, a 6mm crown adds to its refined profile. Notably, the case employs a blend of finishing techniques to create an illusion of a drop-off at the edge of the bezel. In summary, the Grand Seiko SBGA211 Snowflake stands as an emblematic timepiece, epitomizing the elegance and craftsmanship for which Grand Seiko is revered. The Oris Diver 65 watch has a vintage look and feel that many people find charming. Despite being a modern watch built to modern standards, it has a certain old-school quirkiness that sets it apart. When I first saw it, I had mixed feelings, but I was immediately struck by how comfortable it felt on my wrist. With three different sizes available, it's easy to find a Diver 65 that suits your personal preferences and wrist size. One of the standout features of the Diver 65 is its case design. Although it may seem simple at first glance, Oris did an excellent job with the proportions, resulting in a watch that is comfortable to wear in the real world. Unlike many bulky dive watches, the Diver 65 has a low-profile design that conforms nicely to the natural curvature of most wrists. Additionally, the mid-case is remarkably thin, making it sit very flat on the wrist. The stainless steel bezel with a black aluminum insert is somewhat standard, and the grip provided by the bezel teeth is adequate even when the watch is wet. The unidirectional 120-click action is relatively positive, 
with minimal backlay. Inside the case is the Oris Caliber 733, which is essentially a Celida Southwest 200 automatic movement with an Oris red winding rotor. If you're considering buying a Diver 65, you'll need to think about what kind of experience you want from your watch. This is a modern timepiece that looks and feels like a vintage watch from an independent historic Swiss brand. The Bulova Lunar Pilot 43mm pays homage to the brand's association with space exploration, as Bulova was the chosen timepiece for astronauts during the Apollo 15 mission. The most meaningful update to the Lunar Pilot is the reduction in case size from the first version's 45mm wide to a much more manageable 43.5mm, also reducing the lug to lug from 52mm to 50mm. These two new models, at the same size as Scott's original chronograph, have a better feel on the wrist. The case design remains fluid, with no chamfering or bevel edges. Instead, the mid-case presents as an uninterrupted high-polished form that seems to melt around its contours. Combining the slab sides with the polished finish, though, means that there's nothing to visually shrink the 43.5mm profile. The solid screw-down case back helps to ensure 50 meters of water resistance and features a broad array of information. A huge tuning fork logo is joined by details about the Apollo 15 mission and the specific EVA during which Scott wore the original watch. Under the case back is Bulova's in-house high-performance quartz chronograph movement which features a three-pronged crystal vibrating at 262 kilohertz. This release is going to make plenty of people very happy. Those who have been hoping for a smaller recreation of Dave Scott's Bulova chronograph will have their wishes answered and their patience rewarded by the smaller case. The Oris Big Crown Pro Pilot Date is a top-rated pilot watch by Oris that boasts a sturdy design and easy-to-read dial and functional features suitable for both pilots and watch enthusiasts. The case measures 40.5 mm in diameter, 48 mm from lug-to-lug -lug width, and 12.15 mm tall, and has an entirely brushed finish with no polished accents. The case is what sets this watch apart and makes it a favorite among the many pilot watches in the same category. The mid-case extends, tapers, and curves down into a pair of lugs that feel like a true extension of the case, and the build quality and finishing are outstanding. The 6.5mm signed screw-down crown is well-proportioned, comfortable, and easy to operate, making it true to its name. The crown has no wobble, and the grip is excellent. The screw-down case back has an exhibition window, and the watch is rated for up to 100 meters of water resistance, making it a dependable watch for pilots. The Oris Big Crown Pro Pilot Date uses a modified Celida SW221 movement, which is a bit surprising as one would expect to see an SW201 instead. I suspect that they repurposed the same movement based on their version of the same watch. In conclusion, the Oris Big Crown Pro Pilot Date is a well-respected and versatile pilot watch that is perfect for individuals who appreciate aviation-inspired timepieces with a strong emphasis on readability and functionality.